Okay, and so we're continuing to sort of brute force our way to some uh, derivative formulas. <coughs> and then we'll just sort of work on memorizing them. But let's start off with this one. Once again, we got f of x is e to the x. And then we're going to say f of x plus h is going to be e to the x plus h. And then if we remember our um, exponent rules, we can write this as e to the x times e to the h. So I can say that f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of e to the x times e to the h minus e to the x all over h. So I'm going to write that as limit as h approaches 0 of e to the x times e to the h minus 1 over h. Well, and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just grab my calculator and I'm going to start looking at different values, different values for this. So let's do um, so I'm going to do e open parentheses uh, e to the point zero zero one minus one close parentheses divided by point zero zero one. So there I've made h point zero zero one. And I get a number really, really close. I get one point zero zero five zero zero. Now let's do that again. Let's add in a couple more zeros. And then I gotta add in a couple more zeros there. So e to the point zero 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 one divided by point zero 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 one. And I'm going to get so before I had one with three zeros and then a five. Now I've got one with five zeros and then a five. So what I'm gonna say is that this here I'm going to say that as h approaches 0, this thing here equals 1. So I'm going to say that when f of x is equal to e to the x, then f prime of x is also equal to e to the x. And that's a really, really super important result. That's absolutely critical to your understanding of calculus that and why we have this number e. e, e to the x is the function that the derivative, its derivative is itself. And we're going to talk about that more. Let's choose a different one. Uh, f of x is equal to uh, 4 to the x. Well, it should come out to be the same, right? You should do um, f of x plus h is equal to 4 to the x plus h. And then I'm going to say uh, f prime of x is the limit as h approaches 0 of um, 4 to the x times 4 to the h minus 4 to the x over h. And so I'm going to get 4 to the x times 4 to the h minus 1 over h. 
and so that should just and so this should just equal one as h goes to zero, right? No, not true. So let's go back through and uh, let's pull this one up. Let's change that to four. Uh, four to the, is that gonna do it? Doesn't like that syntax. Okay. Um, I gotta do another insert here. Probably like that. There you go. So I get h is equal to 0 0.001. That's going to go to 1.387256. Call it that. Now, if I add a couple of zeros to that, and I add a couple of zeros to that, I get one point three eight six three blah blah blah. So it looks like I'm converging on like one point three eight something or other. And what is that gonna be? Well, look at this. You're you're not gonna this is something that I'm just gonna tell you. The ln of 4 is equal to 1.38623 BAM. So what that's saying is that this is ln of 4. And so f prime of, of x, so let's do this out, f of x equals 4 to the x means f, f prime of x is equal to the ln of 4 times 4 to the x. And then the last thing I'm going to say in this video if f of x is equal to e to the x then f prime of x is equal to the ln of e times e to the x. And what you should know by now is that ln of e is 1. Okay, that's that video.